From getting kicked out of your own hood to getting chased out of the mall on live or getting humiliated in front of your mom. These are rappers who got humiliated on live. Starting with the King, a rapper from New Orleans, Louisiana, who's more known for some questionable things he's done than his music. From getting caught stealing a juice box out of a corner store to doing some weird things with his blood brother on IG Live. King has taken a lot of L's in his career, but the worst moment was when he got humiliated by some goons on live. Because King was in a parking lot at Lennox Mall and he started throwing up some gang signs. King thought he met a fan, but after a few seconds, the dude with the camera snaps and calls King a B and lets him know he'll whoop him. What's up, man? Uh, right here, yeah. big beast. You a I got my on me, bitch. Look at you running. Look at this big running. Yeah. King was scared for his life, and after a few seconds, he stops running and tries to play hard when his people are around. And his video did a lot of damage to King's reputation. So a year later, King decided to speak on the situation in an interview with DJ Small Eyes and said this wasn't really nothing for real. Now, the Lennox Mall incident. Hey. What exactly happened? It wasn't really, it wasn't no no situation, like, it wasn't no trying to fight or no like that, trying to fight me. But this next rapper situation is even crazier because Soldier Boy is always down for drama. In 2017, he was beefing with Chris Brown and wanted to prove that he still had respect in the streets. So he pulled up to the hood on IG Live, but it didn't go down how he expected it to. And he ended up getting humiliated. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, they say Soldier tried putting his arm around the dude like they were cool, but the other guy obviously wasn't feeling it and told Soldier to get off of him. That's when Soldier put his phone down to square up and hit with the guy, but the video cut off before anything really happened. Soldier Boy also got pressed back in 2019 when he bumped into Casanova at the Sirius XM headquarters. Allegedly, Soldier Boy had yelled at a lady before the video started, and Casanova told him, You screamed at a lady, you bugger the fuck out, homie. Yo, you bugger out, you got shit. All over your face, you bugging out, you high, you snack, I understand. But you bugging oh, out, homie. Smoke. It looked like the situation was about to get crazy. You see how she ran out? Hey, but you don't understand how they treat you. I them, understand what you're saying. Females, homie. Females. Females. So if they, if they females, they need to talk like females. Why is she talking like she gangster? Yo, you gonna, what, you gonna hit the female? I'm not gonna touch the female. All right, so why you scaring the female? Fans clown Soldier Boy after seeing this, since Soldier always puts on a tough act on camera. This next rapper, because he got caught and humiliated in front of his mom by his op. In early 2022, New York drill rapper Shy K was on IG Live when he humiliated a YG's rapper. The rapper was sitting in the car next to his mom, and Shy walked up to the car and told the rapper, Nah, you is not OG's K. Stop saying you OG's K. Worried about, stop saying you OG's K. If I stop, are you worried about? Yes, stop saying you OG's K. You're not OG's K. You're not OG's K. What are you talking about? The rapper wouldn't even look up at him or say anything, and it was clear that he didn't want no smoke. But if you thought that was crazy, you gotta see how this next rapper got humiliated, because you gotta see what happened to TJX6, because TJ is a scam rapper from Detroit. He got a buzz in 2019 after his song Dark Web went viral. When he talks about doing fraud and stealing identities, he even records videos of him doing scams so everyone can see that he's about that life. But the scamming didn't take long to catch up to him, because a few years ago, TJ posted Lil Baby's ID on his Instagram. He said he was going to get rich since he had all of Lil Baby's information. Fans warned TJ to stop playing and take the post down since Baby is well respected in Atlanta. But TJ didn't listen and kept the post up. And a few days later, TJ was shopping in Lennox Mall in Atlanta when a bunch of goons ran up on him. A viral video showed TJ running away while the dudes tried to put their hands on him. After the situation, TJ hopped on IG Live and explained what happened. I still got the little black eye too, look. I got the little black eye, you see it? Y'all see the black eye? Be my but Lil Baby isn't the only rapper with fans who don't play about him. Because after fans found out that Quando Rondo had something to do with the passing of King Von, Lil Durk and Von fans instantly started to hate on him. So now, Quando always has to look over his shoulders since he doesn't know who's out to get him. Things have recently gotten so bad because one of King Von's crazy fans pulled up to Quando's grandmother's house since he wanted to get Quando smoked. You could even hear Quando's people in the background since they were confused. Where you at? I'm right here coming to your grandma house. I don't do all this Facebook. Boy, you see where the f I'm at? You know what the f 
I pulls up. Be pulls the f up. Where the f is Lil f at? Lil Kwando. Call it Lil Boy. He live. You see where the f I'm at? And not long after this, Kwando was at the mall shopping. And one of Vine's fans tried to humiliate Kwando. You ain't scrap. You ain't dirty. I said, let's go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom and get a one. Let's go to the bathroom and get a one. Scare and not too long ago, Bondo spoke on the Vine fans in an interview with Say Cheese TV. And here's what he had to say. Now let's move on to Chicago rapper Lil Reese because he's had several incidents happen on live. In 2019, a rapper named Skeezy079 posted a video of Lil Reese getting jumped by five guys in the street. And what made this video 10 times worse was that Lil Reese allegedly doo dooed on himself during the incident. Skeezy also claimed they took everything Lil Reese had, but no one knows if that's true. Reese spoke on the situation a few months later, admitting that he got jumped, but he stood his ground. <laughs> what they do that at? He also posted a video of him with forty thousand dollars on Twitter, claiming that they didn't take anything from him. So money for me, that's how much you gonna come up. The next situation Lil Reese had was even worse because not even a whole year after the first incident, Reese was out depositing some money into his bank account. And seconds later, his car was hit up. Reese ended up getting hit in the neck. And after all this, Reese said he was just thankful to be alive and didn't care about the streets anymore. But Reese just couldn't catch a break because on May 15th, 2021, reports claimed that Lil Reese and three other dudes were involved in yet another situation. Three people were shot on the near north side this morning. One of them rapper Lil Reese. He was grazed by a bullet, and this is not the first time Lil Reese has been the victim of gunfire. And this situation went down over a stolen car that Lil Reese and the men were riding in because the 55 year old father used his GPS tracker to find his son's stolen SRT Durango. The GPS led him to a parking garage connected to some luxury apartments. And when the father approached Lil Reese and the other men in the car, things took a turn. So the driver of the Durango tried fleeing, but ended up hitting a pole, causing the guys to jump out and try to run. That's when someone started hitting at him. And during this altercation, Reese was scraped in the eye. In the video, you also can hear the dude screaming at Lil Reese since he was mad about his son's car getting stolen. And thankfully, Lil Reese has been out of trouble lately since he's been giving back to his community. Now let's move on to GBO Gaston because he's done a lot of crazy things on social media. He even will pull up to celebrities' homes acting crazy to try and get clout. Damn, my bar out your People eventually got tired of all Gaston's trolling and started humiliating him each time they caught him. For example, one video shows someone spotting him in the street, and when they tried to press him, Gaston ran inside the police station so he couldn't get touched. In another clip, someone pressed Gaston while he was in court, and another dude caught him and made him apologize for disrespecting Nipsey. Don't be this my this the game I know. That's the piece of all. I'm Say sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. All my sins. Yeah, weird. Yeah. weird. But things only got worse because a few weeks later, some Hoovers caught Gaston in the street and did him very bad since they were tired of all the trolling. Hopefully, Gaston goes back to gaming like how he started off before the wrong person catches him and things get too out of hand. But GBO Gaston ain't the only rapper who let the trolling catch up to him because the same happened with 6ix9ine. In early 2021, a video was uploaded to Worldstar showing 6ix9ine getting pressed by some goons while he was in traffic. Whoever's recording the video can be heard yelling, you a rat, and pointing the camera right at 6ix9ine. Yeah, what you jacking? The goons keep talking to 6ix9ine crazy, but the car eventually speeds away, and the video ends there. Ain't you the big wool? Nah. Ain't you the big wool? Big wool, yeah. Alright, so move on me. Move on me. Get out the car and move on me. Get out the car and move on me. But the next incident is even crazier because 6ix9ine was working out at an LA fitness in Florida until some dudes at the gym spotted who he was. So the dudes went live on IG and started recording and following 6ix9ine around. They eventually got him into the restroom and from there, the dudes started roughing him up. 6ix9ine had no security guards with him during the time and the dudes did him pretty bad. And thankfully, he quickly recovered and has been out of the way. But this next rapper got humiliated after talking crazy about someone's mom. TikTok star and rapper Twisty P was going crazy 
crazy in 2022 after he went viral for rapping yeet songs in public very loud while high on drugs in the apartment i'm spinning on these perks like i'm a laundromat see you every day i bet it's time for a lot of shit ain't hurt okay And Twisty was going crazy in the underground scene and doing everything to blow up. Cause he even talked crazy about another rapper named Summer's mom. The one Summer's called Twisty, he decided to humiliate him on live. Now what you say, his mama's shit, bro? Why you running away in the street though? You gonna get run over? Straight, bro. We straight? Hey. Come apologize on camera. All right, Summers, I apologize for speaking on your mama. I apologize. And with Terry? And Terry, I apologize. And I apologize. Blue? And Blue, I'm sorry. You sorry? I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done, bro. I you sure? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Come on. But Twisty ain't the only rapper who got humiliated for dissing someone's loved one. Because 051 Freaky got humiliated by King Von for having a tattoo dissing his partner. And that ain't the only time Von humiliated someone. So click this video right here to see King Von's most disrespectful moments behind bars. 